As a director of jazz studies, one of the things I like to share is what makes it unique about studying jazz at MSU is that first of all, when you come here, you actually get seven mentors. You're not just coming to study bass with me or saxophone with Diego, or et cetera. What you do is you have access to all the faculty. And additionally, each one of the faculty at some point is, is, is going to teach you in a class. So you have opportunities to play in ensembles directed by each of the faculty, take classes that's directed. And then also, there's also the informal mentoring. Sometimes on Fridays or Mondays, students stop by my office or Diego's office or Randy Gillespie's office or Mike D's or ATN and just jam or just ask questions. And so there's informal education that takes place as well, which we call that the hang. That's a part of jazz culture. At MSU, we have several award-winning ensembles. For example, Jazz Octet One, uh, also Jazz Orchestra One, our trombone ensemble led by Michael Deese. And these ensembles are the highest caliber. You, additionally, you're getting, you're getting mentorship in these ensembles from the best. In fact, even, even the second and third big band are great bands directed by Michael Dees. Michael Dees does the third band. The second band is directed by A.T. and Charles. We have four octets at MSU. Diego Rivera conducts two. Xavier Davis conducts octet three. And Randy Napoleon conducts octet four. So all of these guys are top-notch performers that have played with top ensembles you know if I start I'll be here for days and days if I start listing their resume however you're getting guys who are who are studio proven who traveled all around the world directing your ensemble and pushing you to heights that you couldn't imagine As a basis studying with me at MSU, you know, I studied with Mill Hinton, Percy Heath, Ray Brown, should I keep going, John Clayton. So you get, you get sort of like, um, my pedagogical approach is jazz bass from all the masters. You get all of the things that, that those guys taught me, I teach you. And also too, I'm, I'm also guiding you to find your own voice on the bass. We go all the way back to Jimmy Blanton, and all the way up to Dave Holland or even Christian McBride. So we study the whole 120 year history of jazz bass. Dizzy, Dizzy Gillespie always said, you have to have one foot in the past and one in the future to find your own voice. And the guiding principle is not necessarily about always about innovation. You hear that a lot in jazz, but it's about you finding your own voice. Well, at MSU, we're committed to our faculty um, touring a bit, but we're, our main thing is really being here for the students. You know, a lot of programs, when you look at, and not to demean any programs, but when you look at their roster, they have every jazz musician in the world on their roster, but those guys are gone. But at MSU, we're committed to being here. So we do all, we all go out and play because that's important. We have to go out and do other work, and that pushes our musicianship and keep us playing at a safe, certain level. However, our main priority is to our students being here, being able to teach the weekly lessons and being at your ensemble concerts, being at combos class, and giving you an opportunity uh, to, to have mentorship. If we're gone all the time, you don't get the kind of quality mentorship that is necessary to help you grow as a young jazz musician. So come on over to Michigan State and go on tour with us. We're looking forward to it.